Hi guys, I'm Dr. Ritvin Malik. Welcome to my life page. Today I'll be telling you guys what it means to be a general surgeon. Now let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Ritvin Malik. I'm from Bombay. After passing out from my 12th, I did engineering for a year. Realized I didn't like that too much. And since I'm from a family of doctors, chose to do medicine. And I ended up doing my undergraduate from the University of Mauritius. I came back to India, interned in KEM in Bombay, then moved to Delhi, started preparing for my All India exams and got placed in SMC Meerut as a surgical resident in 2014. After that, I finished in 2017, after which I decided I have to further study and do something called as an MCH in Onco Surgery. So I'm right now preparing for the exams for that and at the same time working in a private hospital. Now general surgery, as the name describes, is general. So it involves everything from head to toe. But the kind of surgeries you do are of lesser intensity. So for example, we don't touch the brain, we don't touch the heart, we don't touch the kidney. All these organs we have specialists for. Simple cases like gallbladder removal, appendix, suturing, hemorrhoids, hernias, all that comes under our forte. So we focus on the lesser surgeries which the super specialists would not touch. So as I said, I was doing engineering. I liked a subject called biology we had because I was doing biomedical engineering, which is why I wanted to be a doctor. So to become a doctor for starters, you should have an intricate interest in biology, without which getting in this profession is pointless. You should be curious about how the human body functions, the diseases and how to cure people. You need to have passion, empathy towards your patients. All in all, you should be ready to dedicate your life towards humankind. That's the main agenda you should follow in your mind before getting into medicine. So you have to be careful and remember that reading is very important because the more you read, the more awareness you'll have about a disease or a case and more easily you'll be able to diagnose and treat it. So everything in medicine is application. You read, you apply, you read, you apply. That's how the entire medicine works. So reading is the most important thing in medicine. So if you're not interested in studying and you can't put in the long hours, then this is not the field for you. Also remember to be a surgeon, you have to have some level of dynamism. If you want to be a physician, it's easy. You sit behind a desk, prescribe medicines. There's not too much running around. You can choose your hours. But in surgery, you have a lot more emergencies. You have to stand for long surgeries, up to 10 hours, 12 hours, to the point next day your body is breaking. But you just forget all of that and repeat. So to be a surgeon, certain level of mental fitness and physical fitness is required. And this dynamism is what made me want to do surgery. In this field, you have to be ready to accept failures. We're not perfect and every time you fail, remember, it's something you've learned for the next time what not to do. So every challenge has a repercussion and a result which in the end will make you the best surgeon possible. I get up in the morning at 8, reach hospital by 8.30, quickly see my surgery patients of the previous day, all the patients that operated the previous day. Then I rush to OT by about 9.30, where I've got my present day cases waiting for me. We do an average of 4-5 to five surgeries a day, which can last anything till about 6 in the evening to about 8-9 in the evening. After which I do a quick round, seeing the surgeries I operated on that day, as well as the leftover patients of the previous day. I'm usually home by about 8-9, after which I have enough time to sit and do some reading or any leisure work I require. But since at present I am preparing for my next step, which is my MCH, I generally read. And next day repeat. Sunday is off, which is spent in relaxing, some family time and a bit of study. All in all, I would say this is a very satisfying profession. If you're genuinely interested in hard work and doing something for the society and community and you're a dynamic person, you will not regret being a general surgeon. And it will go a long way. I hope I've been able to give you a balanced view on general surgery. Thank you. And hope to see you in the medical fraternity soon.